this morning. I am making Connor's favorite breakfast, which is a little smoky. They're the mild cheddar ones and an egg. And I'm only fixing in like three little smokies and one egg is plenty for him. Uh, some mornings I just do not feel like eating like breakfast foods or I eat later in the day than you know like Connor but I always like fix Connor something obviously and majority of the time I know this is a safe meal because I know that he's going to eat every single bite he's sitting there watching Wiggles that's what the living room looks like I made this for dinner last night was so delicious now I do make like beef rice and like little beef chunks beef tips uh, beef stew pieces whatever kind you want to get uh, this particular one is a beef stew um, chunked up meat intended for beef stew and uh, beef rice delicious uh, I wanted to add um, steamed broccoli and it just oh man the meal was divine so delicious I think I will eat some of this because I just am not feeling eggs and sausage and stuff I'm gonna clean up my cuticles as well so I hastily paint my nails before bed and in the morning I usually get up and like clean them up I thought I would share like a Walmart grocery haul with you guys. I haven't been doing much vlogging lately. I've been lazy about it. But I'm trying to get back into doing uh, vlogs uh, quite a bit. So I'm trying to get back into vlogging. If that sounds right. Yeah. So I got some kitchen bags, some paper towels, tomatoes, green pepper, green onions mild cheddar cheese two packages of real bacon pieces a buttermilk ranch some raspberries some peaches and some grapes for Connor which he is dying for over here and um, I did grab everything I needed for the cornbread salad so I will be doing an in the kitchen video and I also picked up hamburger, uh, hamburger buns, and some steak fries. And uh, today I also grabbed Connor these multi a complete multivitamin gummies. And these are the Disney ones and they have 33% less sugar in them. And he takes one a day. And there's 30 in here. So a month's supply. And... I got a uh, Milani. My, um, I have two Walmarts that I frequent, and one of them carries Wet and Wild, the other one doesn't, and neither of them carry Milani. Today I discovered one of them carry Milani, and the one that didn't have Wet and Wild carries Wet and Wild now as well. So Milani pencil sharpener. I got this beautiful hard candy lipstick. These are the Argan Oil lipsticks. This one's in thunder. It's gorgeous. Beautiful, dark, sultry purple color. Lipstick. <laughs> the lid's actually a little lighter, obviously. Most of the time they are. Super cute packaging, $5. And then I also grabbed this from Flower. And I have two of, their, of her palettes, Drew Barrymore's, and they're okay, but this one just looked really pretty, and I thought nice for fall, if I can get it open. There you go, so pretty, nice and creamy, smooth, buttery shadows from what I could tell in the car I swatched them, and I was excited to see that they saw this brush on its own for like six dollars it's the shading brush from real techniques this is my favorite brush for my lid anyways i have small fairly small eye space and small lids kind of hooded lids at that 
are pretty much hooded lids at that so um i was i just i love this brush for my lid work so i got that um two things of stickers turkeys pumpkins and scarecrows 97 cents they're lasery they had a bunch of halloween ones too but i'm not like i'm more into fall than i am like halloween season but i do get into halloween a tiny bit so but yeah the leaves beautiful and then i couldn't help myself but i found another pack a play pack grab and go thingy and this time it was teenage mutant ninja turtles so I'll grab that 87 cents cheaper than dollar tree now aside from that i also got connor two pairs of pajamas um they're really cute and super nice and of course affordable and i also i got me i just eat this a kit kat bar i eat it and hawaiian rolls and chester's puff corn for connor he loves those and then i'll show you the jammies in a second and then um you know we go to church and everybody supplies like little cakes and drinks for the sunday school class so i went to a local a local bakery and i got connor likes these sugar wafers but they were 59 cents a package so i got vanilla and strawberry and these are for him um <clears throat> he don't eat a lot of sugary stuff but every now and then he gets a treat you guys and i grabbed this angel food cake that was like a dollar something uh these boxes of cakes were a dollar honey buns these raspberry dreamies and some donut sticks all a dollar a box i paid six dollars for or five five something for all of this and then also a package of nutty bars so we bring food for the kids to snack on uh, during Sunday school. While I let my dishes soak, I want to show you guys the jammies. Yeah, just shove them in this bag. Connor is totally in love with these Ninja Turtle jams. And crap. They're like fuzzy. And they were right at $10. The shirt is not fuzzy. It's pretty thin material in comparison to the pants. But I put some back because I couldn't find Connor's size and I was gonna get a size bigger and I was like well those look like he's just he's not gonna be able to wear them and then I saw another display and I put him back and Connor was like whining and crying he thought we weren't getting these jams so he really really likes them and he was like been hugging on them in the buggy when we got home he had to have them out of the bag so he could hug on them it's just soft material I think it reminds me of him of his blanket but yeah so anyways super super cute and these cute minky ones and these are like the six dollar ones we're not the i'm really not the biggest fan of mickey mouse but look at that the back of the shirt has mickey all over it and the pants do too and i just oh my god that sewed me on it the back of the shirt um and i got that in a 3t and the ninja turtles is in a um 24 month but they shrink very badly and connor's outside playing with nan with nanny and i finally brought a wee back in here to the bedroom so we've been watching wiggles and oh my god you guys uh i know horrible like backdrop and everything to talk to but i look like hot mess anyways um i watched the other day on netflix if i stay I cried so many times during that movie. I'm a super sensitive person and oh, uh, it just, it got me. But it's such a beautiful movie. Like it's, it's a sad movie, but it's just beautifully played out and it's the best movie I've seen in quite a while. And also, I, um, I got some more stuff. So while I'm digging that out, I'll talk. Uh, da, 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 da. 
I didn't watch Fear the Walking Dead the past two years because I got bored with it. Last night I decided while Connor napped to watch those episodes and I'm hooked again. And did anybody else see the season six Walking Dead Easter egg in episode four? Um, which was Chandler Riggs and it's close to the beginning um, where the guy's sitting on the roof and he's talking about how Oh, you can tell when it's feeding time Chandler Riggs is like walking through there with the soldiers and other people Totally him you guys check it out. Go rewatch that episode now <laughs> But anyways When I picked up a couple party things that I forgot um, to mention earlier So yeah, um, I got these eight flutes bright colored flutes we're having a wiggles birthday party so lots of musical themed items and goodies and then i found these bubbles which are perfect for wiggles theme locky emma anthony and simon how adorable and awesome so um walmart's really you know fickle with that either they're gonna have it or they don't have it or they sell out and they don't re get it back in stock blah 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 so anyways, um, and another reason to, and Connor's birthday part, uh, birthday isn't for another five months, but I always like to start early, like on Christmas, birthdays, you know, just things like that in general, but you never know, honestly, this is real fact, hard code truth here, you never know what kind of financial situation you're going to be in come that time of year, when their birthdays roll around, when Christmas rolls around, things like that. So whenever I have extra money and it gets, you know, a few months ahead of time, I start buying things, putting them back in a box. I've already done that with Christmas stuff and uh, now I'm doing it with birthday things. I'm just slowly accumulating and then also it takes financial stress off of you come that time when the party is set or Christmas, birthday, you know, whatever it is. Um, because you've already got a lot of stuff that you needed put back for that particular occasion so I don't know I like doing that I've always been like that even prior to Connor um, I was like that with you know getting my sister's Christmas and things like that I've always been like that and uh, so no different now even worse about it now that Connor's here so I mean just uh, you know truth though you'd never know what kind of financial situation you're gonna be in you know if you're gonna have extra if you're not gonna have extra come that time so just buy it when you can if you have the extra you, you get what I'm saying you guys but yeah I'm gonna go finish up my dishes go get my kiddo he's been outside probably 10 minutes now with Nan and Papples out there too but I don't let him out of my sight very often and when I do it's very very short time like, I'm not even kidding, guys. At like 15, 20 minutes tops. And then I'm back grabbing him. And he's never stayed anywhere, you know. He's he's 19, he's almost, he's right at 19 months. And he's never stayed anywhere or, you know, anything like that. So, I'm just saying, you know. That's just me. That's just how I like to parent. But, um, and plus, I just feel like, you know, I waited so long for, to have a baby, you know. Right at five years. And now that I have him, I just can't part with him. Like, you know, I mean, and he, he skipped his nap today, so he is so wired right now. So, just so I can get my kitchen clean, my dishes done, he went outside for a minute with Nan. Today's a coffee kind of day. This mug has quickly become my favorite mug. It was a zebra print one. It just holds so much. It's huge. It just holds so much. And waiting for my coffee to get down. I'm going to film um, cornbread salad today. I oh, can't wait. I've been thinking about it and craving it. And I'm finally getting around to I'm going to film it for you guys. And then on top of that, I got two other in the kitchen videos as well. So I've been on a row. Three in the kitchen videos coming. <coughs> only have one. The good. Day two. Complete success with taking the gummy vitamin. Getting ready to start filming from the cornbread salad. 
So what I'm going to do is start filming the food, um, the ingredients you actually need for to make the recipe. And I'm going to slice it up. So I'll pop it in my fridge when my cornbread gets done. And um, I can start working on this for you guys. I'm in the middle of filming an in the kitchen video. Cornbread salad. Mixing this all up. We a breaker blew earlier. And we were out pa without power for like three hours. And I was in the middle of trying to make this. As you know, you have to actually cook cornbread. No electricity. So now I'm getting a late start on it. But at least I got a start. Connor's in there playing with his play food and pans. I'm trying to get this done before he gets bored. Just got done making Connor some egg salad. He is playing, got it from his nap. And uh, took me a shower. And we're gonna go outside and play. So that'll be our night. The rest of our night. Come in, Connor gets bath, and bedtime.